Hello all of you beautiful humans out there in YouTube world. I'm Asanika, and today we're going to be doing something that's a little bit special, well, very special, and a little different. So, as some of you may know, this past month I had the opportunity to direct a play that I had written at um, my university, and it was absolutely amazing. And I want to share that with you guys. I had it recorded. You can see me in the background trying to work the fog machine. But I really want to share that with you guys and think it was something that was really special to me. And I know that it was something that I really enjoyed and that I wanted to share with you guys. Before I get started, I know I'm going to get all sappy, but I really, really, really want to thank all of the people who were involved with making it a possibility. From my friend Jared to reading over the script, from Carly who encouraged me, and Katarina and Noah and just all the people who were involved um, in performing arts living room and which is where it was performed and just um, just everything it was amazing and it was an amazing experience I had to the opportunity to work with Ben and Kaylee who are alumni of my university and that was amazing because they are really really good actors and it was incredible to be able to work with people who are very seasoned um, and so yeah that was awesome and I really want to thank Rebecca for giving me the opportunity to perform, or to direct it, and to have it performed at Performing Arts Living Room, because that was a huge honor for me, and it was absolutely incredible to kind of watch my work come to life for the second time. Um, with that being said, because the first time it got performed was right after New Play Workshop, which is a 24-hour workshop in which we write a play and we have to produce it in... 24 hours. So with that in mind, I want to thank everyone who was involved with it for our lovely little new play workshop and it was absolutely incredible and it's something that I will never forget and I love my group and it was amazing and so thank you to Joe and Sam and Andrew for being a part of my team and thank you to all of the producers who helped me get back to sleep when I was woken up at 7 o'clock in the morning after going to bed at 6. So thank you guys so much for what you've done for me, and without further ado, here is my original piece, Descent, be performed for Performing Arts Living Room. better benefit me. And if it doesn't, what will you do? You're already too afraid of me. I am not. Do you want to know or not? Well, no. Uh, I'm not so sure. This is your legacy. What legacy? The one surrounded by death? Legacy of poetry. A masterpiece of cracked skulls and bleeding wounds. One cannot but to be helplessly drawn to it. That's what happened to my mother. She always had books upon books in her study. She used to spend days on end poring over them. Within time, she was driven so mad by what she had read that we had to send her away. But to this day, I can still hear her cackling in the study. All items left untouched? Yes, sir. I did not risk looking in them for fear that I would meet the same fate. All left untouched, except this. Yes, sir. And try as I might, I cannot seem to keep my eyes off of it. Even when I leave the room, I can still picture it in my mind. It must be impossible to resist. Just reach out your hand and open it, and yet you haven't. Why? Sometimes I, I feel as if it moves when I'm not looking. Occasionally I swear I can hear laughter coming from it. And sometimes it smells something awful, almost like burning flesh. must be desperate to know what's inside it. Of course I am. However, this could be the cause of my family's slow descent into madness. If only she knew. 
sir. There is a power within this box. A power that belongs to one with the strength enough to open it. Well, maybe I don't have the strength. Why not you, since you're so infatuated with it? Not have the same effect on me. It belongs to you. Only I can have a glimpse of what's inside. Then open it. Your family has been waiting for centuries. My family has been going mad for centuries. I cannot will myself to open it. There's still too much unknown. But there lies the beauty. Open the box, and you will know the unknown. You will see that your whole life has been leading up to this moment. You will understand what all the horror was for. Open and see. I dare not. I have been lucky enough to be untouched by the legacy of madness that my family has so lavished upon all other generations. I wonder, perhaps, if you've not considered this. That, within this box, is the cure to your family's madness. And the they, being too afraid to open it, were driven insane by their own cowardice. You said it yourself. Your mother spent years poring over all those books. That. That's why she had to be sent away. Not because she opened the box. She never opened the box. Why should you fall victim to the same fate as her? I will not fall victim to the same fate as my mother. That's why I will not open the box. The other day, I found the final page to my mother's journal. It said she had come here to seek your advice. You were the last person to see her before she was sent away. Now tell me what it is. I don't want to tell you what's in it. I want you to see for yourself. But if you will not open it, then I shall just have to do so myself. time to prepare a face to meet the faces that you meet. There will be time to murder and create. I should have been born a pair of ragged claws scuttling across the floor of silent seas. <laughs> Thank you.